Okay, this is by far my most favorite lecture. Uh, we're introducing bootstrap world. It's like revealing the man behind the curtain. Um, so let's go over our basic example. So we've got a population. We're interested in some parameter of this population, be it the average hydration or average IQ. In order to estimate what the uh, this data will be, we'll go ahead and we'll take a sample. And then we'll compute theta hat, which is basically the exact same function on this sample. We know that theta hat's roughly uh, is the best estimate for theta. Um, we can go ahead and take this one step further and actually construct a sampling distribution from our sample. Uh, we can use this sampling distribution to create a confidence interval, as we saw before. And this is kind of like the full step. Now the problem that we were talking about before is that going from the sample to the sampling distribution takes a lot of work. Uh, it means we need to sample the population lots and lots and lots of times, maybe even getting up to 20K uh, different samples, and even higher, depending on what your sample size are. So, what do we do to figure this out? What do we do to solve this? Well, remember, we had a similar problem to this back in the day. We were interested in figuring out what theta was. And we talked about, well, we need to sample the entire population. We need to talk to everyone in the entire high school, everyone in the entire United States. That was really hard. So what we used was the plug-in principle to estimate theta with theta hat. Well, we can do the exact same thing by using the plug-in principle to estimate the sampling distribution. So what do I mean? So once again, instead of using the population, we're going to be applying the sampling distribution function on the sample itself. This, this I think is so cool. So again, you know, the sample makes sampling or makes theta hat, which is a good estimate for theta, but we'll take this one step further. We can go ahead and sample, and we'll call these bootstrap samples from the sample. So we sample from the sample as if the sample was the entire population to go ahead and get lots and lots of what we're going to call theta hat stars or bootstrap estimates of the sample. We'll go ahead and we'll take the sampling distribution of theta hat star, compute the confidence interval in the sampling distribution of theta hat star to get us another confidence interval. So theta hat star is in a sense almost like theta hat was to theta. The magic behind this is that the two confidence intervals, the confidence interval that we get from working with the true sampling distribution and the confidence interval we get with the estimated sampling distribution using bootstrap samples are roughly the same. Okay, that's bootstrap world. On this side, we've got bootstrap world and on this side, we've got sort of real world. We're gonna show you a little bit more in depth on how to make these bootstrap samples from bootstrap world. And then we're gonna show you the full in-depth example of doing a bootstrap confidence interval. Okay. I hope you're excited.